Uh, in this lesson we are going to work on uh, marking our messages when we click on show. Okay. So here I'm going to say message dot mark red. So this method we are going to create in our model. So if I go into my model, uh, model for messages. So down here I'm going to define a new method mark red. All right. So in here we are going to say update. So this is a a model method update status the field to true all right if the status is double equals false okay so only change the status to true if it is false all right so if it's already true there's no point in changing it all right so this mark uh, red let's have a look and see how it works now that we've done that and um, so mark this as unread mark this as on red. Okay, so if I click on show, and we'll come back and have a look and see what happens. So we'll click on it, we'll go back to messages, we can see it's become red. And if I click on this one, I go back to messages, it's also become red. So on red seems to be working um, fine. All right, so let's explain exactly what's going on here. All right, so if we go into our controller, so mark red is called and it does this. So it's very exactly the same as if I copied this and I paste it here. So on message, we are calling updates just as we do, do down here. And I'm changing the status. And this status here is exactly the same as taking this um, object here and pasting it here. So we call status on message. All right, but when we are in the model layer, the model understands uh, what status is. So update is being called a message because on status is recognized as a model's uh, field in our table. So that field is, um, is the same one that we can see here, status. All right, so when we're in model, we could reference any of the fields by simply naming them. Okay, so that's, um, that's the updates uh, mark as read um, section uh, done. All right, so we want to extract uh, this piece of code and put it in a helper. So if we're going to our uh, admin messages helper, we can uh, define a new method here. Uh, so this method will be message um, message wait. So we can define like that and paste in our code there. So it accepts a message object as as a parameter as an argument. So I'm going to delete this and the message if it's false. We want to simply return uh, that and then we don't need wait anymore. All right, so when the, the message status is false, um, when it's false, we simply return this uh, bold, or else we return that. All right, so let's save this and copy our method. Uh, we can go into our index and we can simply uh, get rid of all that line of code and in here we can paste our code here. So our message wait uh, passes into its uh, message um, object. All right, so let's have a look and make sure that everything still works. So after every refactor, we have to quickly do a check because we haven't written tests, which we are going to do um, at some point in the future. All right, so this all works as we expect it to. So we're going to um, extract uh, this piece of code here and do the same with it. So I'm going to the helper. Um, we're going to define a new method. Um, we'll call this build red status link. All right, so we'll paste this in here. All right, so uh, our if statement else and ends there so we can uh, indent this in, select this here and shift and tab to move it backwards. So our method will accept um, an argument, a message object, which we can say, check the status. If it's true, then we can do this. And if it's not true, we could do that. All right, so let's copy um, our method and then we can uh, pretty much delete everything that we have in here. 
All right, and in a one line, we could paste um, our code here. Uh, so this one line now represents um, those lines of code we've copied out and save it and let's make sure that everything else still works. So we click on show and we go back and it is red and we um, down here we click on red and it becomes red. All right, so it all seems to be working fine. Okay, so we have uh, completed uh, our tasks. So we have done um, this here, so we can automatically read. So everything else is done. All right, so that concludes everything we need to do for messages. In the next lesson, we are going to look at notifications. So notifications, um, a Vista has notifications. All right, and the same Vista has uh, comments. So every time we set, create a new visitor, um, we have notifications up here. All right, so that's it for this lesson and I will um, see you in the next lesson.